hey guys welcome back to our channel i hope you are doing well so today we are making a tank game but first i will give you an introduction about the scratch okay so this is our code area this is our code blocks this is our stage this is our sprite and this is our sprite area okay so let's get started so the first thing will be we will delete this sprite and we will upload our own backdrops that I have downloaded from the Google don't worry I will give you the links in the description you can also use it for yourself okay after that convert it into vector okay zoom out and hold shift so that it will be fit to the screen that's great so now delete this one and let's go to code area and the first sprite will be our blue tank Let's decrease its size to 30, okay, and put it in the center. After that, the first code will be for the motion. Go to events block. When the flag has been clicked, then go to control block, use forever. If then, go to sensing block, we will use the keys, like for example, a red arrow, okay, then go to motion block. We will use some degrees, like for example, five and we will make a duplicate put it right here just change the arrow and we will use negative sign let's see that's great so now we will make it further for that go to control block we will use if then after that go to sensing block we will use some keys like for example the up arrow key then go to motion block and we will use some steps like for example 5 okay then make a duplicate and put it right here just change the arrow like down arrow and we will change its negativity also let's see the overall results that's great and now we will add some background sound so for that go to sound area upload a sound okay which is the background sound after that go to code area let's put it side ahead and then go to events block when the flag has been clicked go to control block use forever then go to sound block and we will use this block let's see that's great so now let's add another sprite that is our bullet okay let's decrease its size to 50 that's great so the first code will be whenever it starts it will start from our blue tank so for that go to control block when I start as a clone after that go to looks block we will use show and then go to motion block we will use go to from blue tank so whenever it shows and it make clones it will start from right here after that go to we will use point in direction and then go to sensing block we will use this stage okay after that the option which is blue tank and then we will use direction so wherever my tank fronts it will go that way okay after that we will give some speed so for that we will add like for example 3 okay after that we will use go to control block we will use repeat until and go to sensing block we will use the edge so wherever it touches edge what it should do it should delete this clone and we will add some motion so for that go to motion block we will use for example 10 steps and we will delete this clone for that go to control block and use delete this clone that's great so it is the first part that is working that's great and now for the second part we will use some keys and some sounds so for that go to events block when the flag has been clicked go to looks block it will hide okay and then go to control block use forever if then okay 
then go to sensing block we will add some keys like for example the space so what it should do it should make a clone of himself okay after that it should make a sound so for the sound go to sound area we will upload some sound like for example gunshot sound okay then go to code area we will add the sound and we will add some reload so for the reload go to control block we will use like for example the weight 0 0.3 seconds okay that's great let's see the overall results and now we will add the last sprite which is our enemy tank okay let's decrease its size to 30 let's put it right here so it has a lot of costumes so for that go to costume area we will upload its costumes like red clean and white that's great now let's go to code area so the first code will be it should respawn from right here so for that go to control block when I start as a clone after that it will show okay so we will use the show and then it will go from random places so for that go to motion block we will add this coordination and then go to operators block we will use this random pick okay like for example negative 170 towards positive 170 and we will add this coordination which is 250 so we will add 250 let's see and the second part will be whenever it responds from right here it will go towards the blue tank so for that go to control block use forever after that go to motion block we will use point towards the blue tank and now we will add some speed so for that we will add some space sorry steps which is like for example two steps let's see that's great and now whenever it the enemy touches the bullet what it should do it should hide and respawn from right here and there will be some plus in the kills so for that we will add some our own variable like for example kills that's great let's put it here okay after that go to control block we will use if then okay then go to sensing block we will add touching what touching bullet so whenever it touches bullet there will be some change in the kills and it will hide and respawn from right here so for that go to logs block okay we will add hide and then go to variables block change kills by one okay so this set is incomplete by the other set which is i'm going to show you in which there will be it will change its costumes and it will create clones of himself so for that go to events block when the flag has been clicked then go to logs block again we will add the hide after that go to variables block set kills to zero okay then go to control block use forever and now we will add some weight to change its costume and to make clones so for that we will add weight like for example two seconds and then it will create clones of himself and it will change its costumes for that go to logs block and we'll use next costume let's see that's great so in the last step whenever the enemy's tank touches the blue tank what it should do there will be some game over so for that go to blue tank sprite and first go to logs block okay switch costume to blue tank whenever the flag has been clicked and we will add this size which is 30 percent let's put 30 percent after that go to costume area and now we will upload the game over costume 
that's great simply make its size to increase its size to 100 percent and then convert it into vector then click on it and hold shift so that it will make to fit to screen after that go to code area and now the code will be whenever the enemies touches the blue tank there will be this costume so for that go to events block when the flag has been clicked after that go to control block we use forever if then after that go to sensing block we will use touching what touching enemies which is the black tank so whenever the black tank touches the blue tank there will be this game over so for that go to motion block we will use point direction in 90 after that we will use this coordination so it will be in the center after that we will go to logs block set size to 100 and then we will add costume so for that go to logs block same we will use switch costume to game over and the game will be stopped so for that go to control area block sorry and stop all let's see the overall results i hope you have learned something new today please make sure to like and subscribe and i will see you in the next video goodbye